United Airlines. You do what we say, when we say, and there won't be a problem. Whoever said there was no such thing as bad publicity was wrong. If we say you fly, you fly. If not, tough From late night spoofs to social media and mock United Airlines mottos, even one for a rival airline. Oh but the original oh video God. isn't funny at all. Oh my God. None of us could believe that it would get to that point of, of violence. The other passengers were just berating the employees, saying things like, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I found A statement from United CEO apologizing for what he called reaccommodating customers was widely criticized. Add to that a leaked internal memo from the CEO defending his employees, saying they followed established procedures. I also emphatically stand behind all of you, he said. Meanwhile, others in the industry are questioning why this even happened in the first place. They already knew they were overbooked. So then why didn't they, you know, not board the last 10 people, perhaps, uh, rather than fill up the airplane and go through all this grief? Now on China's version of Twitter, there are calls for a boycott of United in a market that's already crucial to the airline. United stock fell in trading today at times, wiping hundreds of millions of dollars off the company's value. And there are demands in the U.S. for a congressional hearing, even sparking reaction from the White House. To watch a human being get dragged down an aisle with their head banging off armrests and not think that it could have been handled better, um, I, I would assume that we could probably all agree on that. The thing is, the airline whose real motto is fly the friendly skies has been accused of being unfriendly before. You broke my Taylor guitar. Dave Carroll had to make his own viral video to get United to pay for his broken guitar. This latest controversy, he says, shows the airline hasn't learned much. My experience was that they had a, a ways to go and it seems like maybe they still have a, a ways to go yet. Finally today, after all that criticism, United CEO released another statement. This time, he called what happened horrific, said the company takes full responsibility and promised it will never happen again. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.